Hey, how you doing? This is Diesel from Jeep Style, and I got this great, fun, exciting project. This project is going to take place over the next month, month and a half, and we're putting a long arm rock crawler lift on it, which I'm super excited about. But the main thing of this post, which is um, gonna be shocking for all you guys, is this is gonna be a huge build. The Jeep really is, um, it doesn't have much rust. It has some leaks and issues, but the thing you need to do before you go into jumping into a great, awesome lift kit and the capabilities of climbing straight up a vertical wall is. Are you ready for this? My best tip of all, this is why people bring me their vehicles. Before I get started on any kind of these crazy dreams is we're gonna make sure the vehicle is basically strong foundation. So we got the water pump, the thermostat, we got brakes, calipers, rotors, we got a tune up, we got seals, we got everything to fix the leaks and make this thing um, Reliable. I mean, it's it's it only makes sense, right? Good foundation, great tip, um, and front brakes. Uh, this is just a, a brake pad that I chose for this build. It's gonna get big tires, so we want good brakes. Um, I always love it when you're talking to somebody and they say, "Oh my goodness, we know everything about Jeeps. We know how to jack them up. We know how to do everything." And then they want to chintz out and save ten dollars or twenty bucks on putting a good set of brake pads in it but not here not me why don't you just use a safety belt with a slit in it with your cheap ass parts anyways good foundation before you start your build this build is going to be exciting this build is for jason lancaster he's in indiana he towed this 2002 tj all the way up to have me start working on it we have great dreams, and we're going to go through every step of it as we build it. But the first step is 100% maintenance and getting a good foundation so we don't leave him stranded. It's safe. So don't chintz out on the, the basic stuff. You really got to do these maintenance items and get your Jeep not leaking. If you're going off-road and you know you have an oil leak, it's just bad, man. It's just bad, bad for the, the environment, bad for off-roaders, and we're trying to keep these trails open. That's what this means. Fix your leaks. Fix your foundation. You'll have a better Jeep in the end. Okay, this is Diesel. Have fun! And this is the Jason Lancaster build.